How are you guys doing? Welcome uh, back to a another video. So we've got ourselves a another for birthday. This time the left back, uh, Yuri Berchiche, um, who I actually got for a pretty good price, 18k. Um, and I saw him getting packed a lot uh, out of the not the uh, player pick, but the what was it? The guaranteed pack, uh, which was supposed to be for Team One, but of course EA um, created a a fiasco with that so um, yeah it seemed like a lot of people were getting this card and also that Jiku so um, you know since a lot of people probably have them in their club maybe you turned them into an SPC um, I thought uh, it would be a good one to try out and he also doesn't even look that bad I know he had the uh, what if card which maybe you guys don't remember that promo I wouldn't blame you but um, I, I actually do remember I was looking at the generations and uh, it popped up and um, yeah, I just remember that card uh, being really good, um, and it was one of those for, uh, the first cards from that promo that I ended up using, and yeah, he was he was really good. So uh, yeah, what you can expect with the card, um, it's a very unique fullback actually. You know, I think he's he's got a build, I think average body type, but he it's it kind of feels a little bit more stockier. Um, you know, he feels a little bit more tankier, but his mobility still feels very good. You know, um, the movement feels very fluid. And I almost wanted to compare him to Luke Shaw, which might be a little disrespectful, but, um, you know, with, with the build and how he's kind of built in game, almost feels like that. Um, but yeah, I want to reiterate, you know, the mobility is definitely much better than a Luke Shaw. He's, he's, he still feels very good when it comes to changing direction. Um, yeah, going forward, maybe not the best technically. I thought he really contributed when it came to playmaking, um, the crossing, the passing. Um, and then defensively still very stable and reliable um, despite those high medium work rates. Um, so yeah, I think with those work rates, a uh, good starting point right will be the speed, that recovery speed. Uh, so he's got 89 acceleration and 92 sprint speed. And um, yeah, I think we used an anchor, which I think was my personal favorite one, the one I would recommend. Um, but of course you can use a shadow if you really would like to. Um, but yeah, with that uh, chemistry style, I thought uh, his pace felt really good um, with those work rates. He's going to be bombing forward, getting in behind the opposing fullback. Um, and so that's going to be a great threat. But also with the speed, um, you know, he's got great recovery speed. You can see a lot of instances. Uh, maybe that line ball, um, he's able to get back and defend it uh, due to that pace. So yeah, I thought the pace felt good. Uh, going forward, like I said, uh, the technical stats, um, I, I didn't really like it personally on the ball. Um, I wasn't able to consistently beat my man in a 1v1 situation. Um, on the ball, uh, slightly stiff. Uh, you know, the left stick dribbling isn't really responsive. You know, he's definitely not up there with the top technical fullbacks in the game. Uh, for the La Liga example, you know, like the Jesus Navases, maybe that new Danny Alves. Um, but yeah, I thought, you know, 90 reactions, probably the more important stats uh, for your fullback. Um, and really, the 90 agility, 88 balance is going to be more felt uh, off the ball when defending. And when it comes to the, like I said, the change of direction, the jockey speed, it's going to feel very quick, very responsive. Uh, you can see in a lot of instances, um, you know, he just, it feels very, very sharp. So, um, yeah, I thought on the ball technically in the final third, I wasn't, you know, I didn't enjoy too much uh, with it, but I thought defensively. The more important stats, as I mentioned, agility, balance, and reactions, uh, was really was really felt. Uh, the passing, he's got great stats here. The uh, 90 short pass, so you're going to be able to play out of the back. But the uh, 90 crossing is really the standout, and you can see we got a load of assists with him. Uh, so yeah, if you like to play the crossing game, um, you'll uh, definitely find a lot of success. Uh, defensively, um, even though he likes to bomb forward, um, and I didn't put the uh, stay back while attacking I still found he was you know very strong uh, when it came to his defensive duty uh, 90 interceptions so you know with the line ball he's gonna be able to pick those out read them very well and just generally you know like I said with the jockeying and how it is in game um, he's gonna be able to intercept a lot um, and you know the tackling as well 87 stand tackle 83 slide tackle He's also got that 91 aggression. So he's very good going into the challenge um, 91 stamina last that full game 92 jumping which is actually really important to note because when it comes to 
those back post crosses, he's going to be able to deal with it. So that's something very unique. You know, he's got those physicality stats, um, but he's not going to feel very extremely heavy, um, maybe like a Gunter or something like that. So, yeah, it's a, it's a nice, well-rounded fullback, one I would definitely recommend, especially for the price. I think he's a great option. So, yeah, that's going to be my review. Please like, of course, subscribe, comment down below who you'd like to see next, and thank you for watching.